All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, I Know Change Takes Time, But Time Is Short. All right. I know change takes time, but time is short. Now I got a spice to do this less because I've been watching a few videos, of course, and uh, you always see newcomers come up uh, to the brothers or you always see newcomers leaving comments on the comment board because you know, they're trying to learn, <coughs> all right? They're trying to learn and uh, the spirit is working within them to the point where they're actually interested in the truth and this may get them to the point where they repent, all right? Now, I know one specific video, you know, it was a group of sisters that was like, you know, time uh, change takes time because, you know, uh, we all grew up in this society, man. We all grew up in America, AKA Babylon the Great. And the thing is, we all have had habits or bad behavior, all right? And one of the things that uh, definitely hits Jake the hardest is uh, weed, all right? Weed definitely hits Jake. Hold on one second. All right, one of the things that uh, hits Jake the hardest is weed, all right? Because you know, we all grew up around that and pretty much you know, once you start smoking, man, that, that does become an addiction, whether people want to admit it or not. They always want to make it seem like it's not as powerful as cocaine or meth or anything like that. But at the same time, this is a thing that Jake does on a daily. And I know because I used to do it on a daily myself, all right? I used to always, <laughs> every single week, I would treat that shit like a monthly bill. I would literally get paid and I would tell myself, I used to be like, man, look, I already know I'm gonna spend about $150, $200 on this. So this, <laughs> so this could last me until I get paid again. I used to have my little munchy budget. <laughs> I go to the store and get my little, you know, gummy worms and chips and all that shit, man. But, you know, that was back then, you know, when I was doing that shit. And you know, when you, when you really think about it, like I said, man, you definitely get addicted to it. And that's why, you know, um, I got inspired to speak about this just for a little bit because change does take time, all right? It does take time. You can't just say overnight that I'm just gonna quit. Like, it's just gonna be over with, all right? You can't just be like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna stop smoking weed um, immediately. I'm gonna stop watching porn immediately. I'm gonna stop committing adultery. I'm gonna stop doing this, stop doing that. Like, right off the bat. It's not going to happen like that. It does take time. But at the same time, you got to realize that time is short. Because all of the videos that's going out right now with the MOTB, with the signs pointing that this society is getting ready to crash, the dollar is getting ready to disappear, you don't have time to wait. That's why the scriptures tell you, make no tarrying to turn back to the Lord. That's like the number one scripture that pops in my head every time I think about repentance, all right? Make no tarrying to turn back to the Lord. You gotta make a decision now. If you really believe in this truth, you cannot be waiting, man, because any one of these days, something can happen, all right? You're not a crackhead, <laughs> okay? You're not in an asylum or anything like that. Nothing is stopping you from repenting unless the Spirit is coming upon you to live out your life of being an unbeliever, which puts you part of the two thirds, speaking to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Other than that, you should be able to listen to this truth, accept this truth, and then after that, you should be able to actually start growing. The scriptures tell you to take in a sincere milk. Start off slow, of course. Don't uh take in too much to the point where you vomit all over the place, <laughs> all right? Learn the scriptures, you know, the, the basic scriptures that you're supposed to know. And then after that, let the spirit take over. Keep praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
and let him get you to the point where you repent sincerely. Don't just come into this thing because you look at it as entertainment or you look at it as a movement for minorities or black people. No, you're supposed to be repentant. You're supposed to repent. You're supposed to be converted. You're supposed to actually believe this for yourself. All right? That's why the scriptures say, examine yourself to prove whether you are in the faith or not. Because yes, we are all in this together in the spirit to build up the house of David with one body, you know, one spirit, okay? But at the end of the day, this is still a every man for himself thing. When Jacob's trouble go down, it's a reason why the scriptures say in the book of Amos, it's gonna be famine of the word because we're not gonna be around to teach anymore. That's gonna be it. The Mosiah is gonna remove his teachers and his prophets from the streets and then after that, everybody is on their, on their own. It's up to you to make the correct decision during Jacob's trouble. You got to get to the point where you say no to the MOCB. You got to become strong within the spirit when there's no food and water out here. You got to believe the scriptures. You got to believe the scriptures that actually say that my servants will eat. My servants will drink. My servants will be saved. He that endures to the end shall be saved. You got to believe those scriptures. You can't just be like, yeah, you know, I put in all this work. I was out in the highways and the byways, cutting everybody. I had groups of people watching me all over. Everybody know who I am. That's not repentance, man. That's attention. Female shit. All right? That's all it is. That's not you actually being in this truth sincerely. So, like I said, with all of that being said, yes, it does take time for you to get rid of your bad behavior and your old ways. But the scriptures tell you, put off the old man and put on the new. You got to become new sooner or later. Because the thing is about this truth, the elect is going to see it. They're going to see everything that we're saying and they're going to believe. They're going to be like, yeah, this is going down in the world right now. Yeah, I do believe that this is getting ready to happen. And the elect, they're going to change before it's too late. So if you want to be part of the elect, man, of course, all of us don't know if we're part of the elect. And we already know the elect is predestinated. But at the same time, if you believe this spirit, that this truth, you're going to be thinking to yourself. You're going to be like, okay, look, you, you're right. I need to change. And like I said, and it's a full, complete circle, too, because... Once you start to change for the better, then you start making better decisions in your personal life. You start bettering yourself as far as money situations, relationships you get in, everything, man. Because the truth directs you, the truth guides you. It makes sure that you always are led with, on the right path, all right? So look, make no tarrying and turn back to the Lord. Yes, change takes time, but remember, we are in the last days. All you gotta do is read Matthew, the 24th chapter. Yahweh Shai gives you all of the signs to let you know that this place is getting ready to go down and his return is upon us. All you gotta do is read that chapter. Of course, the whole book gives you signs and the whole book gives us prophecy. But if you just wanna get straight to the point, Yahweh Shai tells you, if you see these things, the end is year, the end, the end is near, <laughs> Salakia, all right? But what he say? He say these are the beginning of sorrows, all right? So with that being said, knowing that you know that these are the beginning of sorrows, you got to think to yourself, okay, if we are in the beginning of it, that means we're close to the end of it. So like I said, man, you got to get with it. You got to get with it. You got to get to the point where you just like, look, I don't, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to go ahead and do what's right by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right now. All right? Don't be up in this truth because I've I seen a lot of brothers, man. <laughs> I see a lot of brothers that say that they, they believe in this truth and they've been following this truth for five, six, seven years and shit. And they still get tattoos. They still get, they still get linings in their hair. They still every now and then smoke cigarettes, smoke weed. So that's letting you know right there that they don't fully believe in this truth. They still got a foot in the world. 
they're not ready to actually turn back to the Lord yet. And like I said, time is short. You got to get out of those bad habits, man. The more and more of you in this truth, all right, and you know what's wrong, you know what you're not supposed to do. If you keep doing what's wrong over and over and over again, like the scriptures say, Jud judgment must be what judgment must begin at the house of the most high. Meaning jud judgment must begin with the Israelites, the ones that they know that they're Israelites, all right? If you keep going off over and over and over again, sooner or later the most high gonna do something, man. He gonna do something. And you're gonna be thinking to yourself, like, damn, I should have did this. I should have did that. Meaning what? You should have changed. All right? So, like I said, I ain't got to keep repeating myself over and over again. Just remember, time is short. All right? Get with the program, man. Because the Lord is on his way. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Kodash, Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth with the truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And you have a rod to Zai, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yashrada. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.